the red planet has always fascinated people. In the course of the exploration of space, the first Mars missions began in 1960. These first missions were space probes that were to fly past Mars and record data. NASA, the space agency of the USA, had its first success on November 28, 1964, with Mariner 4. Since then, many more space probes have been sent to Mars, even the landing of various Mars rovers such as Spirit, Opportunity, Phoenix, and Curiosity has been successful since then. Finally, on November 5, 2013, the first Indian mission to Mars took off, breaking several records in the process. India's Mars Orbiter Mission The Mars Orbiter Mission, also known as the Mangalian of the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, was not only the first Asian mission to Mars, but also the first mission to succeed on the first attempt. The Mars Orbiter Mission has two specific mission objectives. One is the technological aspect. This includes the planning, design, and development of a space probe that has the capability to reach and orbit Mars, but also the implementation of the mission by means of space communication and navigation was a challenge. After all, there is a distance of 56 to 401 million kilometers between Mars and Earth, depending on the position of the planets in their orbit. The first aspect considers the scientific knowledge gained by exploring the surface of Mars. For this purpose, the space probe has five scientific instruments for the acquisition of various measured values. One of them is the Mars Color Camera, MCC, which provides images and information about the surface and composition of Mars. The MCC took its first image of the Martian surface on September 25, 2014, at a distance of 7,300 kilometers. Since then, numerous images have been taken providing scientists with information about the universe and the development of Mars. Dust Storms on Mars On September 28, 2014, a dust storm was successfully recorded on Mars. Although dust storms on Mars with speeds of 100 km per hour are comparatively less powerful than on Earth, they can assume enormous proportions. In intervals of five and a half Earth years, there are even global storms which cover the entire planet. These storms have already caused problems with Mars rovers in the past. The dust storms block the sunlight so that the rovers have no energy to recharge. The Mars Moon Phobos Although the moon Phobos was already discovered by Asaph Hall on August 17, 1877, it was also possible to photograph it as a silhouette in the foreground of the Mars surface during the mission. Phobos is one of the two moons of Mars, along with Deimos. Its name comes from the Greek and means fear. Its orbit is less than 6,000 kilometers away from Mars, so Phobos needs only 7 hours, 39 minutes, and 12 seconds to orbit the planet. Just like the Earth's moon, the Mars moon always turns the same side towards its central body. This is called bound rotation. Global Images of Mars Unlike other space probes, the orbit of the Indian spacecraft is strongly elliptical. Therefore, the space probe is simultaneously very close and very far away from Mars. This offers a decisive advantage. Because in this way, global complete images of Mars are possible. This makes it easier to understand Mars since the positions of prominent phenomena in relation to each other can be better understood. Previously, the sections of different images had to be painstakingly combined. Valles Marineris The Valles Marineris represents a particularly striking appearance of the surface of Mars. These rocky gorges, which extend like a large dark scar over the eastern part of Mars, are one of the largest rift valley systems in the solar system with a width and depth of 700 kilometers and a length of 4,000 kilometers. The largest rift system is also located on Earth in Africa. Valles Marineris is located in the Tharsis region, 
a 4 million kilometer squared area of Mars and was first recorded by the space probe Mariner 9. There are many different theories about the origin of Valles Marineris. The most widespread theory is based on cracks in the crust of the Martian surface. According to this theory, these cracks were formed by erosion, otherwise known as destruction by water, and by collapsing rock structures. Noctis Labyrinthus The name Noctis Labyrinthus comes from Latin, labyrinth of the night, and describes a trench net on the Valles Marineris. The name is derived from the labyrinthian arrangement of the trench structures. Research into the composition of the rock structure have revealed various minerals in the layers, which are usually found in connection with water or are associated with water. This leads to the conclusion that there were larger water deposits on Mars in the past. Today, water on Mars only occurs in the atmosphere in the form of ice or as steam. Additionally, cloud structures consisting of water and ice are visible on many images. Olympus Muns Like Valles Marineris, Olympus Muns is located in the Tharsis region of Mars. It's a volcano, which is recognizable even from far away due to its enormous size. With a height of almost 22 kilometers and a diameter of 600 kilometers, it is the largest known volcano and mountain in our solar system. For comparison, Mount Everest in the Himalayas is only slightly less than 9 kilometers high. One of the reasons why volcanoes on Mars can reach such a size is that there is less attraction on Mars. On Earth, on the other hand, mountains cannot exceed a height of 9 to 10 kilometers because the pressure exerted by the mass is too high. Various photographs from the MCC show the Olympus Muns in detail. Tyrannus Muns and Hadriacus Muns Another volcano on Mars that was recorded during the Mars Orbiter mission is the Tyrannus Muns. It has an estimated diameter of 300 kilometers and is one of the oldest volcanoes on Mars. Nevertheless, it's younger than Hadriacus Muns, a neighboring volcano. Hadriacus Muns is 1.1 kilometer high and has a diameter of 450 kilometers. Both volcanoes show channels formed by lava flows, which run radially on the slope. Also, Elysium Muns. Elysium Muns is also a large volcano found on Mars. It was discovered in 1972 by the space probe Mariner 9 and was again recorded during the Mars Orbiter mission. However, the volcano, which has a height of 12.6 kilometers, is different from the volcanoes of the Tharsis region mentioned above. In contrast to these volcanoes, Elysium Muns does not have any grooves or furrows caused by lava flows. Casse Vallis Casse Vallis refers to a valley on Mars, which was formed about 1.5 to 3.5 billion years ago. At that time, water volumes of up to 1 billion cubic meters per second flowed over its length of 2,500 kilometers, so that today's valley was formed by the erosion of water. In addition, the Worcester impact crater can be seen in the middle of the valley on the photographs of the Mars Orbiter mission. This crater with a diameter of 25 kilometers was not washed away by the erosive force of the water masses and therefore still exists today. Martian Crater When looking at the images of Mars, it quickly becomes apparent that it is littered with many craters. However, contrary to earlier assumptions, not all regions of Mars are equally covered by craters. Such craters are formed when asteroids or meteoroids collide with Mars, and their impact knocks large amounts of rock out of the surface, creating the typical round impact craters. The size and depth of the craters depend on the speed and mass of the impacting object. The IAU, International Astronomical Union, and the USGS, U.S. Geological Survey, assign and manage the names of the impact craters, although not all of them have their own names. The names are chosen after famous scientists, science fiction authors, or cities with less than 100,000 inhabitants. Orcus Patera Orcus Patera is the name of an unusual structure on Mars. It's an elliptical, elongated lowland plain whose edge is surrounded by a sort of mountain wall. Orcus Patera is 140 kilometers wide, 380 kilometers long, and 400 to 600 meters deep. 
There are many different theories about the formation of this structure, but they cannot be clearly and conclusively clarified with the current state of knowledge. For example, Orcus Patera could have been caused by an impacting celestial body. However, since impact craters are round and not elliptical, this could have been deformed by movements of the Martian crust. Another possibility would be an extremely flat impact angle of less than 5 degrees. In this case, the celestial body would have rather scratched the surface of Mars. Services of the Mars Orbiter Mission Given that the primary aspect of this mission was the technical development of the spacecraft, scientific aspects were only secondary. Nevertheless, the mission also produced achievements in the scientific field. Even though the Mars Orbiter mission itself did not make any new discoveries, the numerous images taken by the Mars Color Camera confirmed and deepened existing discoveries and theories and stimulated new discussions. Ultimately, behind all these efforts are the questions about the origin of the universe and life on Earth as well as the exploration of possible life on Mars. With a look far into the future, Mars could even be colonized. Although such a thing is still science fiction today, it is quite possible in the future. What do you think about this? Is the exploration of foreign planets important, or just a waste of money? If it were possible, would you yourself want to live in a base on Mars? And how realistic do you think the colonization of Mars in general would be? After all, even many unmanned missions fail nowadays. Feel free to write your opinion in the comment section.